This video will cover the topic set builder and interval notation. Here we will have a linear inequality written in set builder notation and we will learn how to graph it on the number line and write it in interval notation. Consider this example. Before we go on, is this set builder notation? Yes, this is what we call set builder notation. It shows the inequality with the variable x. Interval notation will not have the variables in it, only number values. This is how we say our set. 0 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 2. This may seem new or strange to have an x in between two inequalities. To make this more clear, let's rewrite these inequalities as x is greater than or equal to 0 and x is less than 2. So this is the set of all x such that x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 2. That seems to make sense now. Can we go over how to graph this so that I can get a visual representation? Definitely. Let's do this right now. On our number line, we want to show values of x that are equal to and greater than 0 and less than 2. We see that 0 is included here. So let's plot x equals 0 with a closed circle to show that it is included. We also see that x does not equal 2, it only approaches it. So we plot 2 with an open circle to show that it is not included. If we want values greater than 0, then we highlight to the right of 0, and we keep left of 2 because we are less than it. Basically, everything is highlighted between 0 and 2. Now, how do I write this all in interval notation? Interval notation is how we write this inequality just using numerical values. We start with the smallest value and go to the largest value. We start with x equals 0 and write it in a bracket showing that it is included. It goes from 0 to 2, so we write a comma after the 0, and then we write a 2 after that, and we finish it off with a parenthesis to show that the 2 is not included. So parenthesis means that it's not included and a bracket means that it is included. So our final answer is 0 to 2, 0 comma 2. Now we want to introduce inequality graphs that do not have bounds to them. For example, if we have x is greater than or equal to 4, then we plot x equals 4 with a closed circle to show inclusion, and we draw an arrow to the right of that. representing all values greater than 4. There is no bound here, so the values of x go on toward positive infinity. We write it like this, bracket 4, comma, infinity symbol. The sideways figure 8 means infinity. And we write a parenthesis afterwards, because it isn't a real number, so it can't be included. The values are only approaching infinity, but never actually reaching it. Why did you say positive infinity just a minute ago? I said positive infinity because there is also a negative infinity, believe it or not. If we said x is less than or equal to 4, then the arrow would go to the left towards what we call negative infinity, and the interval is written as parenthesis negative infinity symbol comma 4 bracket. So set builder notation shows our interval as inequalities, and interval notation shows this as a range of possible values, if I understand this correctly. Exactly. You understand the topic very well. 